Alleluia, Alleluia. If you are insulted for the name of Christ, blessed are you, for the Spirit of God rests upon you. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Old Gospel according to Luke. Now, large crowds were traveling with Jesus, and he turned and said to them, Whoever comes to me and does not hate father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, yes, and even life itself cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not carry the cross and follow me cannot be my disciple. For which of you, intending to build a tower, does not first sit down and estimate the cost to see whether he has enough to complete it. Otherwise, when he has laid a foundation and is not able to finish, all who see it will begin to ridicule him, saying, this fellow began to build and was not able to finish. Or what king going out to wage war against another king will not sit down first and consider whether he is able with 10,000 to oppose the one who comes against the him with 20,000. If he cannot, then, while the other is still far away, he stands, a delegation, he sends a delega delegation and asks for the terms of peace. So, therefore, None of you can become my disciple if you do not give up all your possessions. The Gospel of the Lord. I read uh, two, three times uh, this uh, gospel, and then um, I feel like to go deep, to be able to better understand it. So what I did, I tried to start first, because it is about, as you have noticed, it is about the condition of becoming Christians. I said to myself, we have to start at the very beginning, meaning that, first of all, we have to remember that we have been created by God, a God of love. I saw in the gospel, in the, I would say in the book of John, gospel, the apostle of John, in the chapter of third, the third chapter, he said, listen, God loves so much the world that he sent down his only son. For what? To go to teach the people and to tell them how much the Father really loves them and that they are called to enter in the et eternal life. Now, this, from that, I come in my mind the 
image of uh, Abraham. You remember Abraham sacrificing his only son, Isaac. Abraham is the image, the symbol of God the Father. Because Abraham gave everything in sacrificing Isaac. It was a way to say, listen, I am at the disposal of the Father, of God. So I come to the solution. Because God is full of love, because he loves us so much, and remembering also that Paul told us with Jesus crying, Jesus crucifying on the cross, because Jesus was crucified on the cross, so it is a sign to say to all of us that God gave everything he had with his son on the cross, of his son was dead on the cross. So, conclusion, God is full of God, is full of love. Now, you and me, we are called to reply to that answer, to that appeal, to that vocation, because the Lord wants to share, to tell us how much he loves us, and he expects us to answer to that uh, vocation. Because that call, he wanted to say that, listen, I'm writing each one of you to tell me how you answer to my love. So I say this, if two people want to meet, they have to be on the same path the same road. Otherwise, they can never meet. They can never meet. So, if we want to answer to the call of the Lord, the God's call, we have to be on the same path, on the same road. That same path, that same ro road, it is the love of God. Of course, if we want to answer to that love, we have to go on that path and we'll be able to answer to that call from the Lord. Now, what is the meaning of that love? It's what Jesus wants to tell us in the gospel today. So, if really you love God, you love God in everything, as said the first commandment, everything. You cannot compare the love of God with other type of love, that's for sure. But in the same time, I'm sure that uh, if Jesus said, look in your relatives, look on your sister, brother, the one who's surrounding you, I, I don't want you to surpass, I don't, I don't want your love to surpass the one that is in, with love, with God. But the thing is, if really you consider God as is the very first love, the third person who teach us how to get to into his love, he teach us, you will see that the same love, the same God will teach you how to love your parents, how to love your brothers, how to love people surrounding you, because God will never ask you to hate people. The meaning is God should be first in everything. So if you go first with God for everything, you will come to love everybody in the way God loves them. So that's why I say, as Christians, if really we want to follow the path from Jesus Christ, who is our Savior, who the one show us the way, so. As I said, we have to go in the same road, in the same path, that is to love people the way Jesus loves us. But remember, alone, we can never succeed to do it by alone, by our way. So we'll be in need of the presence of the Holy Spirit that will teach us, tell us how really 
will go will will love God in the way God Himself loves us. And I like very much the end of the gospel today because he said itself, I would say it's the conclusion for this. It is he said this. Listen to this. Therefore, none of you can become my disciple if you do not give up all your possessions. Meaning that if you want to follow Jesus, if really you want to do as God the Father, we have to give up all our possessions that we just remain open to the Lord and to leave him come to us and teach us how to follow him. So as we continue this celebration, let us ask the Lord himself to teach us to do like Abraham, to be like Jesus himself, to give up everything we have. And knowing that when we fill up our hearts with the presence of the Lord, we receive everything from the Father. Amen.